back with another acrylic pour painting. This time I'm going to try to do a straight pour, but with the canvas tipped slightly. Kind of like that. And we'll see what happens. I've never done this before. I've never done a lot of these things before. I'm not an artist. I'm just playing around and trying to come up with something fun. So the colors I'm using are the colors that were in the last video. I will link that in the eye in the sky so that you can go and check it out. I'm not going to go through all the colors again. It's pretty simple. The first thing I'm going to do though is coat my canvas in some white so that the colors have something to glide against. Or glide on you don't glide against things anyway okay so actually before I do this oh I forgot to put the little things in the back of my canvas I'll just put it up on cups and not a big deal before I do this I want to start my pour cup for my pour just making sure I turn the camera on put some white and then I'm basically just going to add all of my colors I have some of the Various turquoises, turquoises, I don't know. Some gold, I want a lot of gold. Some more turquoise. One of these turquoise colors has glitter in it. I don't know which one that is anymore. And some of this burnt sienna with a little bit of brown mixed in. And a little bit of this dark brown. This is left over from my fall color pour. And then I'm going to top that off with a little more white. Straight down the middle. All right, again, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. This is just me playing around. So, yeah. Back a little. Perfect, doesn't matter. All right. Or on this corner and maybe try to do a swirl. lost all of the brown. I'm going to do a little more with Sienna. All right, I'm going to do some more up here. There we go. Get a little more color in there. Edge. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. It didn't actually. There we go. Then I'm going to bring it back this way a little.
Hmm? Back to the center. And then we're going to take it to this corner. I was going to leave some negative space, but no, I don't think I'm going to after all. So it's done and I don't like it at all. I really just don't like it. So I'm going to change my gloves and then I think I'm going to do a ribbon pour across it and see if I can make it better. Okay, so I'm going to take this same cup and pour a little bit of every color in. See if I can get any more gold out of here. swirl and pour. All right, dogs are barking now and I'm going to to it. this off because I don't really care for that. Bring it back this way. Hit all of my corners. And there you go. I like that so much better. My torches are not working. I think I'm just out of butane. So I'm going to do what I can with this little lighter and see if that helps. Look at the cells popping up here. That is from the Floetrol. I don't have any silicone in this anywhere. I'm gonna do the best I can with this, which is not that great. It'll just pop bubbles and that's about it. which is kind of sad because I bet with some heat, there would be more of these cool cells popping up. All right. We're just gonna let this sit a minute and see if any more cells pop up and then I will take you down and show you a close up. Okay, so here is the close up. I'm loving the cells that showed up. I've got to get over to Home Depot or Lowe's and get some more butane for my torch. But this still turned out really pretty. Look at all of the cells. And that is just thanks to the Floetrol. And I guess the white is uh, 
heavier so it sinks to the bottom so I've heard I don't really understand it all but I love how the brown just pops right through I think it turned out so pretty and this just shows you that if you don't like a painting you can fix it you just pour over top of it until you get something you like so I will be back in a day or two to show you what this looks like when it's almost dry. So here is the almost dry result. It needs a little more time to fully cure, but I feel like this is what the end result is going to look like. So let me show you up close. I really think this turned out pretty. I didn't like the way it started, but it turned out really pretty. I'm not sure that kind of looks like, I don't know, what are you seeing there? Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher and a thunderstorm in the background. Let me get you in super close. I love all of this. These colors work so well together. I'm going to have to use them again. So there you go. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this one. If you're only here for the art videos, I am slowly uploading them all to a new channel called Artful Lee, and I will leave the link in the description box below. They're not all up over there. They're getting put up very slowly. I'm still going to be uploading them on this channel. So they'll be on this channel first, and then it may take a week or so or longer to get them up over on the other channel. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I generally have videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and then the art videos are on weekends only. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.